Hello there, kids. Just letting y'all know real quick, I am helping my friend over at twitch.tv slash SeanVR try and get another emote slot. Uh, I'm joining him in VR chat with a whole bunch of other shenanigans, so hopefully I'll get to see you there. I will be over there uh, joining in and out of VR as I have the strength to. So, again, twitch.tv slash Sean underscore VR. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, I had to end abruptly real quick while I was also avoiding sentinels and whatnot. Uh, I was reading up a couple of things about a couple of these. Thingamajiggers that I was doing. Um, thingamajigs and uh, whatsits and hula-nabobs and all of that fun stuff. Um, I was curious what I was doing, so I looked it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, so, I learned about the Sentinels a little bit. Uh, I learned combat with them is actually kind of good if I can do it quickly. And if I can't, then I'm a little less well. Oh, ships! See a lot of those. But uh, that's only if I can manage to do it quickly. Uh, turns out what I did absolutely would piss them off. I was absolutely correct in assuming that that particular thing would piss them off really fucking good. So, uh, yeah, can't do that again. Or at least if I can avoid it, not do that again. Uh, it's kind of inadvertent. Ow, you fuck. I did that again. Bastard. There we go. Get some oxygen out of you. Recompense. Yep. Bastard. Alright. Scanner's recharging. Again, I still don't know exactly what I'm doing with uh, everything, but I'm going to eventually get there. Also, I switched to a uh, first person camera because I figured it'd make it easier on me. So far, it's helping a little bit when it comes to gathering shit. It's very helpful, so can't complain about that. Anyway, I'm going to switch to my multi-tool, recharge that with that. Good. Um... Operate and okay. It's not really telling me what it is. Critical exposure. Oh, it's telling me how, uh, critical exposure to uh, the toxicity of the planet. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I discovered a new area. Nice. All right, we continue moving forward. And go! Whee! Oops. Well, that didn't go nearly as well as I would hope. Ooh. What are you? Abandoned something. Oh, sodium nitrate. All right. Uh, rusted metal. Okay. Handfuls of corroded metal distorted by years of exposure to the harsh, harsh environment. Handle with care. Can do. Alright, it's mine now. Get that salt. There's oxygen over there if I need it. Don't really need it that badly. At least not yet. Got dihydrogen. Uh, rather, not dihydrogen. What's that? Oh, I was right. It was that high. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Disregard anything I say. Stupid. Okay. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. I keep hitting X like I'm trying to fucking reload the stupid thing. That's not how it works. I'm a stupid asshole. That's how that works. That is a 
thing. This is also a thing. Huh. Damaged machinery. Got some nanites out of it. And living slime. Which I already have in my inventory, so that works. I received nanites from it as well. Which I'm still not entirely sure how that works. What the fuck nanites are supposed to be? Okay. There we go. Apparently run into those things. It's a melee, which is what this is. It's a melee, I guess. There we go. Cool. You can use that to quickly mine things. Okay, I am really starting to take some severe beating. I keep hitting X. I keep doing that. I'm severe, taking a severe beating from the toxic uh, bullshit. So I'm going to use sodium real quick. There we go. Good. Perfect. Fantastic. I'm going to grab a lot of this. Especially since it is far more useful. I have no reason not to pick up a lot of that. If I can. Which I do have the ability to. So I might as well fucking do it. Yeah. Surprise me. A new item. Uh, hep heptaloid. Heptaploid wheat. I have no idea what that means. Wow! Those are some big ass buggers. Talking some Ender, Ender's World shit right there. I'm really hoping they ain't awesome. Ow! You bitch! Every time I run into one of you. Every time. Fuck you. Oxygen is mine now. Oh, I can... S this is how I save, okay? Go. Take your shit. Uh, that's not shit I can take. Okay, cool. Um, take that. Health at maximum. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I do appreciate hearing that. Save and chart. Okay. Received nanites. And a whole bunch of other shit. And that was a automated save, wasn't it? Oh, that was a manual save. Counts as a manual save. Okay. Good. I guess. What the what? That was weird. I saw like a blue thing. <laughs> Ah. That's a resource deposit of cobalt. A very large one. It's a terrain manipulator to be able to get it, though. Fair enough. Alright, time to continue sprinting to get the fuck over here. Grab that. Whee! Ooh! This is interesting. Oh, okay. Well. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Good. It's always nice. Fuck are you? Hollow Archive. Accessing archive. Six out of seven logs corrupted. Well, great. Okay, that's pretty much all of them. That might be good to me. All right. Entry 4924A follows. No one. Just 
making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Okay, I'll take the stuff. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now? Possibly. What is that? That is... a... ferrite dust deposit of some kind. Damaged machinery. Okay. Repair damaged components to open. Okay. How do I... Okay. All right. I, I basically just got the thing. Just basically got the components that were already in there. Interesting. Well, not for long. Now that I'm inside a building. Hmm. All right. Well, this was an interesting little outpost to find. Oops, a doodle. That's not how I meant to do that, but it works out. Yes. Trying to get up here so I can see what this is about. Oop. Interesting. Is there a ladder here? Technically there was, but I didn't use it. Not that way. Oh, this just barely counts as a ladder. Honestly, not at all. It doesn't count as a ladder. All right. Well, why am I still standing here? I have the stuff to fix my ship. What the fuck am I doing? Ow. Well, should have seen that one coming. stuff over there. There's also a thing over here. Rich, the deuterodium rich plant. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Don't at me if I'm wrong. Deuterium. Deuterium. That's what it is. I am way too high. Holy shit. That is more cobalt. That is another little bit of stuff I could use to get really high up. Huh. That's interesting. That looks... Looks very similar to uh, the other little thing I just saw. Ow. Starship is over there. Okay. Test the analysis visor. Oh! So that's how I scan things. Go Pugnosa? I have no idea what the fuck that means. Four 
formation process was a localized black hole? What? That's a weird way to form a thing, but all right. this big thing is, but we'll find out in a second. Apparently a plant. Burned technology module. Apparently a ways away. Fogpidia. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Oh, that's where it is. Buried technology module. Huh. Oh, these are the hazardous flora that I was looking at. Marshatmia. Marshatmia, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, I'm about to sneeze. Fuck. <laughs> okay. There we go, much better. I, uh... That was a heavy-ass sneeze. Okay, I definitely need to recharge my exosuits. Uh, hazard protection, because holy shit. Technology recharge. Good. Locate my starship. Okay. It's, uh... It's a ways away. But I'll get there soon. Good. Getting a lot of units for... Scanning things. Which is good. Well, that makes sense, considering. Alright. Alright, my ship's over there. Oh, I never identified this one. Looks like a squid, whatever it is. Tingso Pile. Okay. Let's scan this thing. Dust Okay. I'm just gonna scan everything I can. And there we go. If I come across anything I don't know, I'm just gonna scan it. Whoop. An identified plant, huh? Barclay. Okay. Well, pretty soon I shall know everything that is on this planet. <laughs> Subterranean relic. Not sure to think of that. Buried cash. So ways away. Ammonia deposit. Cobalt deposit. It at least keeps a decent track of everything I've looked at. Knowledge stone. The fuck is a knowledge stone? I have no idea what it is, but I will find out in a bit. that. Alright. Life support system at 50%. Okay. Get the seal thrown in there. Good. Now it's the launch thrusters. 
Okay. It is pure ferrite. Construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite, huh? So I've already done the jelly. Okay. Construct a portable refiner. Okay. Um, craft that. And then... Didn't mean to do that, but hey. That works. It made it. Okay. Navigation data. Okay. Um, I wonder. Technology. Nope. Can't install anything there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Put that there just so it's not in my inventory. Alright, and. Salvage data. Fuel inverter. Fuck, do I put in it? Oh, of course. Makes sense. Technology recharge. Okay. The input would be pure ferrite, which I don't have, and a hopper for storing the materials generated by the refinery. Okay. Place ferrite dust. Really? I can do that. Okay. I can grab that. There we go. And I can repair the launch thrusters. Thrusters. Launch thrusters with that. Jesus, I cannot talk anymore. Jesus. And there we go. Beautiful. Launch systems online. Oh, yeah. Can't forget to uh, take the refiner with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, did that destroy it? No, it just... <laughs> it just threw away all the carbon that I threw in it. So then I just picked it up again. That's what happened. Okay. Well, that makes a little more sense. Okay, return to my ship. Seek answers among the stars. Use RT to take off. Okay. Okay. The cancer's among the stars. Uh, uranium or starship launch fuel. Okay. I should not be doing this shit while also in the air, but I also don't want to end up missing out on things while I'm trying to stay on the planet. Alright. Okay, um... Make metal plates, and then you can make that, and then make that, and then put that in there. 
Okay. Not too shabby. Photon cannon. Rocket launcher. Pulse engine. Tritium or pyrite. Okay. A little bit of both. That's good. Oh boy. Oh, I can slow it down. Nice. I was starting to worry that I couldn't. Oh! Okay, so that's how I fire a weapon. And then I have a rocket launcher. Okay. Fair enough. I think I understand a little bit. And seek answers among the stars. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bunjir Latan system. I discovered this. You found this? I found this. <laughs> All right. Sentinel activity. Fair enough. Test boost. How do I test the boost? B. Oh! Okay. Fair enough. And. Planetary interference. Oh, because I am pointed towards a planet. is with that noise? Is it just because I'm not moving? Is that why? Engaging the pulsar. Everything flying at me makes me very concerned. I'm not gonna lie. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm... Identify myself. You are not alone. Follow the broadcast ends at strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Okay. Oh. Towards an unknown planet. I can arrive in an hour if I do it this way. <laughs> do it the old fashioned way. I'm actually curious if this will actually take me an hour. to hit something and got some tritium for it. Platinum! That's what that is. That's a big thing, whatever that is. Tritium hypercluster. Let's 
just a big, just a big hunk of silver right here. That's what this is. Fair enough. Mine the fuck out of this. Because I can. Silver would be good for. I don't care. I kind of just want it. And that's enough reason for me to be doing this. The way that it misshapes as I shoot it, though, that's a little weird. gave me a whole bunch of it. Okay. That's what that's about. Gold nuggets. Alright. Gave me a lot of gold, too. Well, since I seem to be too far away to do anything right now, fix that. There we go. Whoop. Alright. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. I think I've done enough uh, shenanigans for now. At least when it comes to mining shit. Where the fuck am I trying to go? No. There we go. <laughs> uh, I got there eventually. I'll arrive there in an hour and 20 minutes. Alright, well. I'm actually going to see if this takes the amount of time it says. <laughs> or do do the pulse which will take me there in about apparently half a minute definitely flying through a lot of rocks and shit that are making me a little concerned. Okay. Planetary interference. Yesto Prime. Bring it. That 
is hella cloud cover. Sequence. External temperature is 51 degrees, or rather 52 Fahrenheit. All right. First contact. Interesting. Broken tech. Sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decoding. 16. 16. 16. Entry 1925. 49, rather. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not stupid. My brain just broke. <laughs> 4925C. No fuel in... Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to underground. Deployed base computer. As well as a log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. I can build a base computer! Nice. When placed, contacts Universal Tur Universal Cartographer. Rather, I was trying to say, instead of what it actually says, Universal Cartographic Archive to establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules across any site of the user's using. And also terrain manipulator. Thermal protection. Oh shit. wonder what that's about. Advanced terraforming device. This module overloads existing multi-tool systems, allowing the user to reshape regions as they wish. Charged with metallic elements. Fair enough. Oh, because cold. That makes sense. All right. Fair enough. Well, if it's that cold. It's also nighttime. The fuck? Holy Jesus! What are you? What are you? What the fuck are you? You're so massive! You are a huge bish! That's what you is! You is the hugest of bishes! Okay! Alright! Okay! Alright! Then! Technology yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh... Cargo... Okay. Okay, for the multi-tool. Allows me to do terrain manipulator. Okay. Requires. Uh. Okay, I need the carbon nanotubes and the dihydrogen jelly to be able to do the thing. Okay. So I make that. And I make that. So I do that. Oh, I needed two of those. Okay. All right. Um. Why do you keep telling me things that I don't need right now? 
craft more. Okay. Install technology. There we go. Good. Good. Now I have it. And gather copper. Okay. External temperature is... I'm sorry, negative 82? Negative 82. Okay. Well, no wonder for the fucking... Wowzers. All right. Okay. Well, since there's going to be nothing I can do until... Well. Until day happens. That way I can actually walk around without having to deal with the fucking... Cold of the entire planet. Which I might not have a choice. Um, weather is sterile. Limited, limited, and... I might not have a choice in the matter, so I'll just run around a little bit, grabbing stuff and whatnot, doing things. And uh, anyway, since there's not much else I can do, uh, mainly because the end of the episode is nigh anyway, this guy is broken, is, is what I can understand. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I got a save point. Uh, so I'm going to just continue on from here. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on in the next episode. Where uh, I, after I end this one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and exploring planets now. Uh, a little more thoroughly. Um, now that I understand what I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, we're hoping that we can figure out what's going on with the story of this game because so far we are dropped in with very little indication of knowing what we're supposed to be doing except for little breadcrumbs that lead us on so we'll follow those as far as it'll take us for you